Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. If you read the title correctly, I once again got shadow banned, and I have the gameplay, the entire gameplay of the game that got me banned once again from Modern Warfare 3. And remember, for you dumb idiots that don't understand what shadow ban means, it means that Activision and Ricochet anti-cheat think that I'm cheating and or hacking in some way so they are checking my pc every time i play this was me finding out at 106 in the morning a couple hours ago and i'm still on call of duty here i was still playing in a war zone match when i checked i literally have no vpn no aimbot no other software opened up at all but the game that got me shadow banned is absolutely insane because i dropped three dna bombs in one game for the first time but then here's the fun part i was playing with another youtuber my friend the rick cod right and he was live streaming we didn't hide our screens two box we didn't reverse boost we don't cheat we don't do any of that right we don't do any of that fake ass content but the game that me and rick played he dropped three dna bombs i dropped three dna bombs six dna bombs in one game it's kind of ridiculous to me that i just got out of the shadow ban loop they've seen my account my pc all that stuff said that i wasn't cheating but now that i pop off drop three dna bombs get out x amount of kills that i got because i'm gonna show it all at the end that you guys are gonna ban me for it like that's just ridiculous man and if i have to explain it to you guys once again i don't cheat i don't hack i don't vpn i don't reverse boost i don't do any of that stuff i am just better than you watch videos play the game more and if you don't want to get better play something else but yeah let's get right into the gameplay all right here we start off and i realized that i have the trophy system unlocked i'm like no i'm going for nukes let me put on the munitions box i mess it up i'm like oh damn what the hell so i die right off the bat then that doesn't really count but you know what i'm saying <laughs> but this game someone in his chat said i should try out the regular mcw because and, and look what's about to happen here i'm gonna stop speaking Look at that just insane right it's literally just my map knowledge but literally i'm using the regular mcw for the first time in probably about five months before the conversion kit came out because i usually use the conversion kit and this other team starts talking about us they're like they're nasty you know we're playing them again the really good team and they're going to be talking about winning this game so if you were wondering like you know how we were able to do the stuff we were able to do, what we're going to be doing, and what I'm going to be showing you guys, is because they stayed in the game. But right here, I'm on a streak right now, playing for my advance, hoping I don't die to my own thing, and I get pushed right here. I see people are spawning there. I'm like, I'm good. I'm looking at my mini map right now, sound whoring right there, boom, dead. But this MCW class setup was insane. I'm going to make a class setup video because um, I, I I dropped multiple DNA bombs in other games. But this game was just absolutely insane because the amount of DNA bombs that me and Rick dropped were just crazy. But yeah, I got my swarm here. And at this point, I'm shaking in my boots. Like, I'm like, dude, this is the perfect game. I could get my DNA bomb the fastest I've ever gotten it. And I'm just playing against these people. I, I keep getting hit. I have no ammo. I hit all my shots. And now the swarm's hitting. Just have to stay alive. And the MCW, remember, this is my first time using it. And I had built this class setup literally in the pregame lobby before we loaded up into this match. But yeah, I'm right here streaking. And I finally get my DNA bomb. And I was freaking out here. And I do have my voice recording, but it's literally all silent. So that's why I'm commentating over it. But at this point, I'm just trying to stay alive and see how long I can go for But, like, literally, I'm having shots where I miss. And all of it is just map knowledge. And then I start lagging here. But literally, all of it's map knowledge that I have. Because I played Stash House when I was getting Interstellar, right? So I dropped my first DNA bomb there. Right? My first one, remember? First one. And they're wondering, like, what the hell is going on? How is he doing this? And I just died there right there so I could get my second DNA bomb and try to get it. But yeah, these guys are absolute soldiers. Shout out to these guys. They were talking about staying in and, and you know, some of their other random teammates quit. But the four that stayed, I appreciate because I'm pretty sure they were partied up. But since we have this advance and now I know how to play, 
with uh, slide canceling stuff and how to use movement with my advantage and you know peekers advantage all that stuff i now know how to like win gunfights 24 7 basically against like not even bad players but just normal players that aren't pros that just play casual so right here my swarm still keeps going rick's getting kills with his kill streaks and listen in small map mosh pit this should not be happening and there's a reason why I don't play small map monsters it's because even when I get my kill streaks, the nuke's not guaranteed because I could, you know, die by my own kill streaks. You know, a random spawn happens, so I usually don't go for nukes. So right here, I'm I'm nervous. And Rick gets his first nuke as well. So that's two total nukes in one game, right? And here we go. I get my swarm once again. We have another advance from me and Rick as well. And look at that just insane right and so i'm just picking my fights making sure i don't die and hoping that i don't you know get spawned behind and the uav does not pick them up but i'm running out of ammo here the spawn is behind me how do i stay alive what do i do i hide get double kills and i run away pop my kill streak and i'm gonna run away towards where no one's really at and oh especially away from my freaking carpet bomb and I don't know how I died there, but the two randoms are gone. They got no kills. And I got my second DNA bomb, which is just absolutely insane to me. And, like, I'm dying here. I'm not hitting all my shots with the Renetti and or the MCW. And I'm not going to lie. The way I've been playing for the past three days since I've watched, you know, people's videos about how... To pros play and all this stuff and how to play like a pro uh, it's insane dude and it's very simple and it's literally just one mechanic that changes everything and obviously my settings are really good which i still have to make a video on i have another gameplay that i want to show you guys but yeah i'm at 105 kills right now going for my third dna bomb trying to actually play it out and I feel like this is where I messed up. This is where I started asking people to actually cap flags. Because I didn't want to drop two DNA bombs or Rick drop a second one. And four total DNA bombs and we still lost. So I keep telling everyone like, yo, cap, cap flags. Because we're not getting enough, right? We're going to lose if we don't start capping flags, right? They have A and C. They're on B right now. I'm trying to protect it. They're raging. I'm going all with the Renetti and MCW. Just moving left to right, up and down. But at this point, I'm like playing for the win here and not really playing for the third DNA bomb. And I'm still looking at my mini map. That's why I'm running away. I was like, uh, let me let them have B and all that stuff. And Rick drops his second DNA bomb. So that's four total DNA bombs. Legit. No hiding screens. Rick was live streaming. These two is viewers live. None of us hit our screens at all, right? But look at this, dude. I I'm just playing insane. People spawning on my seat. I run past him. Oh, my God. And he runs past me. He doesn't have a headset, I guess. And, you know, I got my another carpet bomb. I'm about to hit my swarm once again. And, you know, my class setup, my settings, my weapons, my kill streak setup. Like, this whole entire game was insane, dude, right? But, like, I don't... But, literally, we weren't reverse boosting. I got my swarm right there. Um, and, literally, we were playing small map mosh pit for about 45 to an hour. Right? 45 minutes to an hour. And it's just insane that this was done. Right? And here we go again. This is the crazy part right here. I just mow them all down when they spawn in. I don't know how they don't have spawn protection at all. But I'm about to get my third right here after trying to play for the win and look at this insane i got my third right here boom dead and this is an insane moment i'm trying to stay alive he walks past me and goes for v which is absolutely insane but i'm just going off at this point things are going ham i'm nervous as hell because at this point i think i could get my fourth dna bomb but that's five total dna bombs right now three for me two from the rick it's about to get insane though it hasn't stopped yet. There's my third. And they're still playing for the win, which I honestly commend, dude. None of them have really quit. Not a full party has quit yet. Maybe like one or two people. But look at that BS spawn. Come on, man. 
Are you serious? But it's just so crazy to me that this happened, dude, because I never played small map mosh pit before or after I got interstellar. So this was really like refreshing to see and refreshing to play. It was fun to play, dude. Just pub stomping and the amount of kills I dropped. Rick gets his third DNA bomb. So that's six DNA bombs throughout two players in one game of small map mosh pit on stash house, bro. And they're just, they just stop moving at this point. Every time they spawn in, they just die. I, I hurt myself right there with my carpet bomb. And this is about to get insane. Oh, almost got that triple. But literally, we just started dominating even when the kill streaks were there. Like, it, it, it was just pure domination from everyone. We weren't camping, we were pushing. Like, I'm literally in their spawn right there, trying to go for my fourth DNA bomb. And I'm starting to realize, like, yo, we should probably let them cap, but they've been trip capping us sometimes, so I don't want to really do that. So I'm still playing for the win now. Because at this point, I'm like, okay, there's six DNA bombs. Let's just go for the win. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, some of them started to, like, rage and all that stuff and stop moving, which I totally understand. I would, too. And at this point, like, it makes no sense to really quit the game because the, the battle pass and all that stuff and weapon levels, right? But... We're triple capping them, which honestly is probably the worst thing we could have done. If someone else got their swarm, I'm pretty sure Rick did. Yeah, he, he did. He, he was probably going to get the fourth DNA bomb. I'm not even going to lie. Me and him were literally just racing. But it, <laughs> this was just an insane game, dude. I'm telling you guys right now. It was just an insane game, man. Oh, my God. I was so hyped because I knew I had good gameplay. But let's look at this, right? 185 kills. I only had 14 deaths. I checked after. Rick had 151 kills. And we were playing objective. We literally had nine captures together. And the bottom two people joined late and they were just low levels, which is absolutely insane. These four guys literally let me and Rick get this gameplay. And because of that, we got shadow banned. And I'm not going to lie. I see why we got shadow banned. We dropped six DNA bobs in one game. But yeah, like this was probably the best game I've ever played on Modern Warfare 3. And honestly, I can't really disagree with Activision and or Ricochet shadow banning me from the game. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below. Do I deserve to get shadow banned? Are me and Rick too OP of a team? Let me know if you guys think I'm cheating or not and why. If you guys want a full PC check, I guess. For a video, let me know by dropping a like on this video. But yeah, it's been your boy Limbo. I love you guys. Peace.